Developers can make things in software, but also with their hands in printed form. Let's watch a master craftsman show you how AI changed how he could explain AI to everyone. Stay tuned for this episode. So I was playing with these cool Microsoft Fabric flashcards that are also available on print. And that's where Alvaro Videlo Godoy came into my life because Alvaro, welcome to the Cozy AI Kitchen. Hi, John. So Happy to be here. you had this idea of flashcards in print form and also digital, and you made them with AI. First, give me some background on your life as a cloud developer advocate. Yeah, so I've been working as a cloud developer advocate in the data team, meaning we take care of all like databases, real time systems, all, all the stuff like what makes uh, websites uh, go. And today in the era of AI, you need data for AI. So our team is key there at the at the bottom of the whole structure, basically for 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 AI. And like, it was like a year ago, you were playing with 3.5 Turbo and you went and made cards. Why? Yeah, so I've been toying with the idea of, cap look at this, capturing the thumb, okay? Because I think a lot of people day to day are with their phones, going in long commutes, going uh, in the train. Here in Switzerland, it's very common to, to commute. And I say, how can that person that is looking at the phone can be at the same time learning about AI, right? Yeah. So I wanted to, to have something that will capture that movement. We do constantly or click next, next, next video. But instead of next video, let's learn about AI, right? And about different uh, products, not necessarily products, anything that you can learn. My you also wife, made printed cards, big, Alvaro? Yeah. So we did printed cards because my wife, she's a big oh. language nerd. She's always learning languages. So I say, okay, maybe I can take a bit from, from, from her experience and try to do something uh, similar. So beautiful, and, Alvaro. And so the, the idea was like, okay, let's do it, let's do it on the web because um, it's easy to test, to try, to, 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 to do this, uh, to prove this concept. concept. And at the same time, I wanted to play with AI. I said, I need a project to play with all the GPT stuff. You know, like last year it was it was all the all the rage. And also, I'm very into the using technology for the right purpose, right? Because at Microsoft, we care a lot about how AI is employed. It's not just Let's 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 get it rolling and throw a dice. No, we are, we are very conscious about about what we call responsible AI. And I said, okay, GPT models are great at generating content based on grounded content, right? Absolutely. Today we call that rag. Everybody say rag this, rag that. Back then we were still finding out the names. So I came up with this idea of this website that I have here, Fabric uh, Flashcards, where we had a second problem at, at our team. Our team started working with Fabric. Fabric is this new platform for, for, for the area of AI, as we say. And we, we, the team of Fabric wanted to release a certification. And at Microsoft, we are we are bigger certification because we want people to know to use our product and to show their skills and to show that they they, they have learned and they are math and they have uh, mastered the technology, right? Absolutely. So we had the problem of teaching people or, or helping people learn, and we have all the content that you know we have on, on on Microsoft Learn. Microsoft Learn, you can learn about almost everything. Absolutely. So how can I bring these two together, right? How can I use AI to bring these things together and to get here? <laughs> Ooh, so you really had that moment. Awesome. It, it, it was a lot of things trying to converge together, right? So, okay, I decided to grab the learn modules that will teach you for that specific certification, the TP600. Um, and 
generate flashcards. So for example, you have an introduction to end-to-end -end analytics using Microsoft Fabric, right? So if I click learn uh, with flashcards, I, I'm sent to this uh, flashcard here that say, what does Microsoft Fabric integrate with? And the answer will be Microsoft Fabric integrate with tools the business need to make decisions. And here's something very important because when you work with generated AI content, mm -hmm. you need to tell the person, the user, where that content comes from. Yeah. And for me, a big, uh, a big key moment was using actually Copilot on Bing because we can talk a lot about responsible AI, right? Right. But are we putting our money where our mouth is or something like that? It goes the, the same, right? Absolutely. So I was playing with Copilot on, on Bing, and I always saw these little badges that were saying, this response was brought by the search engine. This response was generated based, based on this and that result, meaning you need to always tell your user where the data is coming from. You have so, to warn them it's AI generated, here. correct? Exactly. Yeah. AI, AI, uh, this uh, link on the back of the flashcard will take you to the learn module. So you know where that information came from and you can learn more, of course. A beautifully designed system. I, I was so blown away by it. Are you a designer? I'm always looking into design. I'm not a designer, but I'm a designer by, by passion, let's say. <laughs> For instance, Ooh. The, the history of Swiss design yeah. a lot of books like there because I really love uh, reading Very about cool. these type of things. Yeah, and you, you know This is not my coffee pot or my teapot, but it's my, uh -huh. my flashcards. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell yeah. me, so, like, so uh, how, how have yeah. people adopted these cards in their life? Are you satisfied? Is there a next version of the cards coming or? Yeah, th there is actually uh, two versions of the cards because they were actually quite successful the first time. So let me quickly show you a bit of, of the flashcards in action in the, in the real world. So that's, that, that's the, the version one of the, of the flashcards. Yeah. And they were used at uh, Fabcon in Vegas uh, earlier this year. They were uh, printed, they were packaged, they had like a little tutorial card and so on. And uh, yeah, there were 3,000 packs of them were distributed at Fabcon. And another 1,000, I think it was used for local user groups and, and, and things like that. And the idea was to support uh, this event that will happen earlier this year in Vegas. And I was not able to attend, but my my... My manager was there, the fabric marketing team was there, a lot of people were there. And wow. honestly, the reports say they were rushing up and down the hotel, um, bringing pack packages of cars because people were just uh, rushing at the table, grabbing them. They were um, uh, playing uh, with the cars, they were sharing the cars on, on, on social media. Um, they were very happy that we had this uh, swag. Wow. Uh, people that managed to get them at uh, different places. And for me, I'm happy that, that we have these uh, happy faces because when you create a product like this, you, 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 like you're expecting that. Right. And for me, this, this one specifically was the one that made me extremely happy. I was like the confirmation that uh, the flashcards has uh, were a success because this person say to a comment on, on LinkedIn, agreed, I love this, right? Had a chance to flip through them on the plane as, <laughs> as this person was returning from, from Fabcon. Flashcards are made to be offline. Mm. They are made to be used when you have this time to to memorize, to practice a bit, so you you flip them, you're you're going through the to, through the question and answer, and this person was on the plane, probably without internet, without their cell phone, but they were going with the physical uh, 
flash cards. So I don't know what else to add to to this specific comment because it really for me was super. Uh, it made me super happy. Well, well, Alvaro, um, you yeah. you've proven to us all that as a developer and designer, you can craft things in mobile and in physical form, such that it can be on the plane and you can go uh, Wi-Fi off mode and still enjoy your content. Pretty amazing, all with AI. Yeah. And when we translate into physical uh, form, you need a way to have the same cues that you have on the web, right? Mm -hmm. Like from which topic am I learning? What's the question and so on. But most specifically, because we have to show the source, what's the point of a link if I cannot touch the link on the print flashcard, right? Yeah. But by having the QR code, we uh, are letting the person to scan the, the, the thing with their phone. We are super used to QR codes and then they can uh, keep going uh, with that experience on on on, on mobile. So it's, it's like two way two way thing. I, every detail you thought of, including the QR code. Just want to thank you, Alvaro, for coming to the Cozy AI Kitchen. I think you were the first kitchen builder developer who's actually made physical things you could probably eat. Maybe not. Oh, <laughs> Maybe thank you so much, time. everyone, for joining the Cozy AI Kitchen and experiencing a developer who was able to create an entire flashcard system for learning so that AI can grow. See ya. <laughs>